Okay, so we're gonna do something a little different. I want some rest. All right, so this is gonna be more of a kind of laid back video, and it's uh, it's actually gonna be laid back because my throat hurts, and I'm like, Ow. God, dude, it's it's so hot in here. I, it's I'm dying. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at my big board. Thus far, I have made a big board of the players that I like thus far that we went over. Um, a few guys I left off because I just didn't think that they were ne necessarily worthy of of being on the big board at all. Um, but these are just guys that I just label basically 1 through 16 thus far, um, so far, that I like. And I'm going to try to explain to the best of my ability, while not dying because my throat hurts, on why I uh, really like these guys. So first and foremost, Ben Carroll. I think that that kind of explains itself. Um, he's two things that the Spurs need. What did the Spurs need? They need a big. What else do they need? Someone who can create their own shot. Um, and he is by far the best player, in my opinion, in the draft. Now, some people will make the argument that it's Chet Holmgren, maybe Jabari Smith. I disagree. I think it's Ben Kiro by, by a long shot. Now, this is banking on if the Spurs go one through four, obviously, because Ben Carroll's not going down to nine or ten. Um, so moving on, Jaden Ivey at two. Now, the reason why I like him is because he's very creative around the rim, and he reminds me kind of a John ja Morant. Now, he's not as quick or as athletic as John ja Morant, but overall, he can create his own shot. Um, he's pretty dynamic and he made a lot of plays where I just sat back and scratched my head like how the heck did he do that? Um, so that's where I'm going with with Jaden Ivey now Shaden Sharp You guys know I love me some Shaden Sharp now we're gonna have to wait and see I understand that we're gonna have to wait and see on Shaden Sharp because even if you try to look at pros and cons it, it's it's nothing here like you can't find anything and why is that he didn't play college um, he sat out at Kentucky um, but he was not able to play uh, college ball because it was it was a lot of like weird stuff going on. Some people blamed him, but dude, it's, it's Coach Calipari. It happens all the time. He he's always doing something kind of sneaky. I wouldn't blame him. Shaden Sharp's just doing his thing to try to get into the NBA. But overall, yeah, it's a lot of questions. But he has so many things that's promising. He can create his own shot. He looks like a pretty decent defender. Um, <clears throat> He has crazy amount of athleticism and i love his demeanor overall like he seems like a very fun guy to kind of be around and pretty mature for his age uh to say the least and you know if we're going to do this youth movement why not have him so let's move on so jeremy sohan now it was really close to putting eason in ahead of sohan but the reason why i went ahead and went with sohan's because it's just i can't pass out on his ability the, his ability to pass the ball his ability to dribble his length sitting at 6'10", uh, the fact that he can really, really create his own shot if he gets a jump shot. So it's a lot of ifs. It's, it's, it, this is me rolling the dice, so to speak. But his defense is really good, very solid, um, super high motor. He flops around quite a bit, but hey, man, it's modern NBA. You got to flop a little bit. Um, but overall, I really, really like him a lot. Right now, they got him going at 10, which that would mean we would have a chance at him. Um, but yeah, moving on. So then we have Eason. I don't have to say much about him. 6'8". Uh, overall, very good player. Honestly, uh, he's kind of the full package almost. Um, for a guy that's small forward, 6'8", he's what you want out of a small forward. He's a gym rat. He works really hard. And I think coming into the NBA, he will be much more ready, ready, excuse me, ready for the NBA than Sohan. Like, I think by a long shot, after, actually. Um, I just like this potential here. And then Johnny Davis. Now, some people say, don't get a guard. We don't need a guard. We need a shot creator. We need a dynamic scorer. And that's what Johnny Davis is. He can create his own shot. He's a very good shooter. Um, and he's a kind of high volume shooter from what I've seen. So I really like me some Johnny Davis. As it stands right now, uh, they bumped him down to 13. So more than likely, right now as it stands, they're predicting that he'll be available. But you never know. You know, once come by a hit. Um, so Jalen Duran at seven. Now, quite a few people are these. This is actually Spurs fans first pick is Jalen Duran. Now, I don't have anything against him. Um, I think that he has a lot of potential there, but he can't create his own shot. And from what I've seen, it, it takes a lot of setup for him. Now, <clears throat> with that being said, he has the body. He has the athleticism. He has the defense. He has kind of the mid range shot. Um, and can he become great? Yes, but I think a few people are getting a little wrapped into the physicality and his stature more than just 
pinpointing on his game overall so i really like him obviously if he's <clears throat> if he's available and these guys are gone why not grab him obviously now Jaden hardy now this guy I, I hope i don't sound too hyperbolic too crazy here but he actually reminds me and i'm trying to see where he landed oh wow 27 really they bumped him down to 27 right now um but overall he really reminds me of damian lillard um the way that he can kind of create his own shot he's very smart basketball player mechanics are really good um, and you just never know what he's going to do next. It's almost like he has every single point guard in NBA history uh, move sets memorized. And it's just a matter of him coming into his own. Um, so Uzman Dang. Now, I really like him just overall. Good playmaker. I can't pass up on his size. I can't pass up on his potential. And he's a good shooter as well. Overall, overwhelmingly, uh, I, I would take him over EJ Liddell. Now, EJ Liddell... I like him because of his defense, essentially. Now, let's see where EJ Liddell landed. They actually got him at 25, and Uzman Uzman Jang got him at 16. Okay, that makes sense. So, yeah, EJ Liddell, I like him as well. Um, the thing about him is, which is it's not the negative, actually. The thing about him is I would get him <clears throat> based on defense alone, really, because um, I absolutely love his defense. I mean, he is... <clears throat> People talk about high flyers. People talk about guys who has a lot of, have a lot of hang time. Honestly, he got a lot of hang time on defense. Like he is in the air forever to block those shots. Uh, David Roddy, all right, David the Body Roddy. Now I really like David uh, a lot. Um, I think a lot of teams are gonna overlook him because of his size, because he's only six five. He's six five power forward, and I've already seen people comparing him or Spurs fans comparing him to Dewan Blair and it's like no no dude he's actually a really good passer and he's a guy that I think when it's all said and done he's gonna be a poor man's Draymond Green and if you know anything about Draymond Green you know that man can pass and he can utilize his body pretty well and that's what David Roddy can do um, he has a pretty good first step he really utilizes his strength just just overall good player now Harrison Ingram is a guy that I went with next thus far. Okay, this is all going to change once we see more players. Um, but thus far, Harrison Ingram, I really like him. Uh, but the problem with him is that, honestly, he can't shoot. Uh, and that's that's the big issue. Now, he's only a freshman, and he is a point forward. Um, he can play defense, super high IQ, but he can't shoot. And that's just real iffy, okay? That's real iffy uh, for me, okay? So I'm just... I'm, I'm gonna just wait on this one but he's on here nonetheless like I have to go with him over Jalen Williams who I think is kind of a Boris Dial 2.0 now right now they have Jalen Williams at 51 okay if, if 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 he goes 51 this is a steal because I really like him overall um I, I don't see I don't see a world of not not getting him at 51 um but moving on uh, Jake LaRavia, um, he's a really good team guy. Not a lot there. Uh, I talked about him already. Can't create his own shot, but I love his motor. He plays good defense, and he's a really good team player. Uh, Kendall Brown, I put him on here because his speed alone, but I just have a very good feeling he's going to get knocked down even more for me. Um, but overall, I do like his speed. Um, I like his motor, but not too much there, okay? Um, really, really good at um, uh, slashing as well. All right, and then Kofi, hopefully I said this right, Kofi Cockburn, we talked about him already too. I don't think he's projected to even get drafted now, um, which is weird. He was on here, and now, you know, people are kind of overlooking him a little bit. Um, but he is perfect if the Spurs went ahead and said, look, we're just going to go with the best player available. And if the best player available each time so happened to be a guard or small for it, so be it, I think he will be a perfect guy you pick up after the draft um, because he does have a lot of promise to his game. Um, he, he he plays pretty hard. Now, will he be a superstar? Pro probably not. Will he be a star? Probably not. But he is a very good big. And if you keep Yaka Pertle, he could, he could team up right there with him. So overall, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, this isn't, you know, set in stone. Um, I'm going to add some other guys on here. I just need to look into him a little bit more. We did a video on Benedict. We did a video on Keegan. But I kind of want to over er, do those over or at least look over it a little bit more before I start plugging in, um, you know, more players into this. Um, but yeah, you guys let me know what you think. 
um, what does yours look like? But thus far, this is mine, and it's going to only grow with time. So I'll give it to you guys later, man. Uh, if you want to support the channel, only $2 a month. Uh, deuces.